Hello. Today I would like to explore the subject of what is truth. Now, believe it or not, everybody tells lies. And if you're one of those persons that go, oh, I don't lie, uh, well, it's kind of hard not to tell a lie, depending on who's observing what you said or what you believe is the truth. Now, there are a few things that people can really agree on for the most part, that uh, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Things like that. Or grass is green, sky's blue. But, those are little simple things. But when you get to other issues, it becomes obvious that truth is subjective. For example, a committed Republican would probably say that Bush was a great president. And a committed Democrat would think that Obama was a great president. Now, if I take a Democrat and I ask him it, or I tell him that... Uh, Bush was a great president, he might think that's a lie, okay? Now, why is this? See, people walk around thinking that they have the facts, that they know what is true. What most people don't understand is what we think is true is really emotionally based for the most part. Most of the stuff that anybody believes has very little to do with what they know from direct observation and study. There's just too much out there in the world to, for it to work that way. So what really happens is the way people get their information goes back to really the tribal level. In small tribes for survival, people grew up and what they heard was true. Lying didn't really have a whole lot of value in a community of 150 people because peop everybody knew what everybody else was doing. And consequently, people accept as true the first thing that they hear on a subject, unless they really have reason to believe otherwise. Because when you're learning in, at a tribal level, it's based on experience, it's based on observation, and it's based on what all the people in your tribe do. Now, we get to the modern world, there's no longer these tight-knit communities where learning basically comes from the other people in our social group or tribe. Social groups are the psychological and emotional equivalent of tribes, so you get like your Christian social groups, your, I don't know, professorial social groups, your mechanic social groups, your love football social groups. And there are beliefs that run around in each and every group. But are they based on direct observation and fact? No, because you can't be objective. You can't observe everything. So you believe what you hear on a subject. And it may or may not be true, but it gets a little bit more away from objectivity when you realize that when people accept something as true, it's based emotionally on their identification with their, their social group, or in the modern world, with their social groups. So people of one political persuasion will believe so-and-so is a good politician, or this is a good thing to do. Other people will believe quite the opposite. Now, this is because we have an emotional attachment to what we heard. We don't observe it. We don't check it out. When I was a little kid, and up until I was uh, later in my teenage years, I lived in a small town in Kansas, and my total exposure to the world was uh, NBC and CBS. And I didn't think America was that great of a country. Why? Because I was watching the nightly news. But I just accepted that as being true because that's all I heard. Then I went away to college. Well, I have this interest in foreign cultures. I started meeting people from 
lots of different foreign countries, and they all kept telling me, oh, no, no, America is the best country in the world. It's the greatest country in the world. And I had to step back and think, what's going on here? Okay. There were all kinds of things like that. So I figured out at one point to observe. Now, I have my reasons why I might believe one thing or another, but I no longer get upset when I see people telling me this is true and this isn't true. I get somebody come knocking on my door to try to convert me to my religion. I realize in their emotion, they're trying to help me out. In my emotion, it's like, okay, you're bothering me. I'll smile. Bye. See ya. Go away. Now, I'm usually not that rude. I kind of mess with them. But the whole point being is I don't get emotionally involved. I don't sit there and believe what I hear in the media or what other people tell me. Now, you still have to have some beliefs on what's true or what's not true, but it comes down to the fact that you can at least, being aware of this, emotionally step away from what you think is true or not true. And that is a first perception to making your life better. Thank you.